So let's open a project and take a look at the project dashboard. So we're going to open our water tank project and you can see uh, the dashboard that's just relevant to this one single project. So let's take a look at the information. We've got the name of the project. We can actually change this in here if we like. It's going to change that to remove that Navis works. We're just going to call this the water tank. You can see it's part of one of our groups. So if we want to change that group, we certainly can. We can change that so anybody who's part of our demo group can have access. And I will make myself the project manager again on this one. And as a project manager, you can designate somebody else if you like. Now, as far as the project information goes, we can see the date the project was created. We can see the last date of capture and the last time it was updated. We can fill in some client information here. An address. And we can change the access level. Right now it's available to anybody who has the link or we can go ahead and change that to private and then it's only available to anybody who has been invited to the project. And the approximate area. This is more relevant to the Holobuilder users and this is designated when you create the new project. So let's go over and add a project description. So now we have our description updated. And if you want to add an image, I'm just going to go ahead and change that here. If you've got one from your computer, you can drag it, drop it there. Or let's just use our water tower. So just something that gives you context. So when somebody opens this, they can see right away if this is the project that they're actually looking for. There is a little bit of analytics that you can see here. We can see the number of 360 images that were uploaded. So again, this is a little more relevant if you're dealing with the Hollow Builder type application where you have additional 360 images and you can change this to three months to six months or the last three years. You've also got the option to archive the project from here, or you can share the project by generating a project link.